Carja. We're here at the Cooper's Cross development in Dublin's North Docklands. It's a development owned by a vulture landlord called Kennedy Wilson. Here in a few minutes time, we're going to be changing the advertising signage outside the site to make it a bit more honest. But before we do that, we just want to give you a bit of background information on Kennedy Wilson and the vulture landlord takeover of Irish housing. Kennedy Wilson is a US-based vulture landlord which already owns thousands of Irish homes and is on track to own thousands more in the near future. Kennedy Wilson is then renting these homes out for extortionate amounts, generating huge profits out of the misery of the housing crisis. Cooper's Cross is just one of the many developments Kennedy Wilson has in this part of Dublin. A five minute walk away from this site we have Capital Dock, one of the most glaring examples of what happens when the greed of vulture landlords is put ahead of the housing needs of Irish citizens. Completed in 2018, many of the homes in Capital Dock remain vacant because Kennedy Wilson refuses to lower its extortionate rents, preferring that these homes lie empty in favour of maintaining artificially inflated rents in the rest of the building. Cooper's Cross, Capital Dock and other developments like them encapsulate everything that is wrong with the housing system in this state. The Vulture Landlord takeover of Irish housing began in earnest in 2010 with the then Fianna Fáil and Green Party government directing NAMA to organise the forest sale of thousands of homes and residential development land worth billions. This allowed the Vulture Landlords to gain a foothold in the state. Fast forward to today and Vulture Landlords now own tens of thousands of Irish homes, helped in no small part by the efforts of Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, the Labour Party and the Greens to introduce legislation to aid the Vulture Landlords in every way possible. This has happened while a million of our people are denied access to secure, affordable homes. They are instead left at the mercy of slum landlords, land hoarders, dodgy developers, bankers, estate agents, and of course the vulture landlords who are extorting for every cent they have. The entire housing system in this day has been developed on the basis of the exploitation of ordinary people, making the lives of Irish citizens hell so that they can turn their country into a vulture's paradise. This exploitation is never going to end until the people who are directly affected by the housing crisis start actively fighting for their own future. If people won't fight for their own futures, how do they expect other people to do it for them? Join the fight back against the vulture landlords. Join the fight for a new republic. Join Oregon.